What is up guys, Jen here bringing you another Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis Classics video and it is a day before release. It is currently the 28th, tomorrow is the 29th, Tuesday the 29th of May and that is the day where this will be released. And uh, you can either pick it up on your respective store, so the Xbox Live store or the PSN store digitally, or you can buy the physical copy where you'll be getting a poster, a double-sided poster, and the two posters you'll be getting, if we look at this um, living room, or bedroom, should I say, that we're in, the Streets of Rage poster to the left, and the Golden Axe poster above the Golden Axe is the two posters you're going to get. So if you want a, a room that looks like this, or get those classic kind of art, um, concept art posters, it is a cracking thing to get the uh, physical version. But we're not talking about versions today or what you should buy or what posters you should be putting up on your walls. We're going to be talking about challenges. You guys want me to show you and run through some of the challenges. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through a couple of them and we're going to go through um, and p participate in the challenge and see how frustrated we get. Obviously, aside from the trophies, these are in-game challenges, but you do need to complete all the challenges to unlock a trophy. And it's probably going to be one of the last trophies on everyone's list to get. So let's have a look at these challenges and see what we get. If you like what you're seeing, hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out. And if you're new here and you want to stick around, hit the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, follow me on Twitter or hit that notification bell and I'll notify you of my content. That's enough with the plug-in. Let's get with the challenges. So I've been running through these um, from, they're all in alphabetical order of game so I've been running through these in alphabetical order so we got beyond, beyond Oasis giant enemy crab defeat the crab just using the dagger not that challenging really it's once you figure out the AI of the uh, the boss it's very easy columns it's hit and miss I mean I got it in my first go but you could it really depends what RNG you get with the blocks so that's that one Again, Comic Zone, a very easy one. It only took me one attempt. Epic comeback, so you defeat the uh, Kung Fu boss in there, but your health bar is quite low. Crack down, get your skates on. Finish stage one, act three, with at least one minute, 50 seconds left. This is a relatively easy one. Um, you can sponge it, and I think we should go into it right now to see. I mean, I did it in my first go, so it should be pretty straightforward. So we're going to get ourselves straight into it. And, oh man, playing these kind of games. Uh, all you want to do is you really want to, it doesn't matter about you dying. You can do, All you want to do is kind of sponge your way through. It's quite easy to sponge. Um, if you do want to play like as best as you can, you can kind of like um, hug the walls. But we'll get him. Get this guy. Two hits. Now this one. There we go. Oh, no, he got us. It's okay. Now just look at that clock, we've still got a good 30 seconds left. Right, we're doing it. Oh man, I should probably use a D-pad. I'm using the analog stick and it's I'm failing miserably. So this is how you not complete a challenge. Essentially what you'll do, do you want to plant these three bombs and then you want to um, finish the stage. So we have not completed it, it should kick us out, which it does now. Which is the awesome thing I love about the change challenge. If you fail it, it takes you out. But you can go straight back in to it and uh, play the challenge again. But uh, I must have been very lucky with my attempt. But what you want to do is just kind of avoid these enemies. Um, you want to go straight for the bombs. I think How many lives have we got? I think we've got quite a few lives. So don't worry about your life count because you're probably not going to lose all your lives. Uh, let's get this guy. This guy's going to shoot once, and then we can get him. Oh, he got us. Come on, Ben! We need to complete the challenge! So, we'll get this guy. Oh, it is a bit clunky. What have I been... I think I've been playing a shooting game before I've done this video. Um, right, we've got ten more seconds left, so what we're going to do is we're going to sponge it. We're going to sponge all the way over here. Because there you can see. You can see the bomb just there. Planted it. One more second, and there you go. We just narrowly completed the challenge. Um, there we go. See? So that's a pretty easy challenge. You can sponge your way. Um, we've got 
Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Again, this is very like the columns. It kind of uh, wants you to get a certain score under certain limitations. Flicky, very frustrating game. Um, them cats, them damn cats jumping everywhere. But once you kind of get it down, once you get a few attempts, you know you kind of roots you want to do to get all the um, the little chicks. Golden Axe, Golden Axe 2 and Golden Axe 3. They're all kind of boss related um, with certain hells and don't use magic. Um, Golden Axe health is low. Um, Golden Axe 2, no magic and continues. And Golden Axe 3, no continues. Again, this is kind of these ones where you need to learn the enemy's patterns, learn the AI and you'll be You'll be pretty spot on with it. We've got one for Rise Star. Um, complete the first level without any damage. Again, it, you might slip up a few times here and there, but once you kind of get the level down to the T, a new Rise Star Masters out there will uh, hit it pretty easily. Shadow Dancer. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this one. I, I want to play through Shadow Dancer now that I've done that. Um, again, uh, you just got to get to the end of the level. Um, send your dog on that end enemy with the green shield let them turn into a puppy and then exit the level and you'll be fine you'll know what i mean when you attempt it um shining force i've not done this one i skipped this one because obviously shining force is an rpg get to outer own with no more than one team member dying is going to be quite difficult when i did the challenge to get the challenge the trophy to get to outer own um if i'm pronouncing it wrong I'm, i apologize when i yeah when i went to get the trophy because there's a trophy linked to, the, to get into outer own also I lost a lot of my comrades, so this is going to be quite difficult and obviously with no save states, um, just the in-game save feature, no rewinding and fast forwarding, I, it really is a challenge and I wish that they added more RPG challenges. I would have loved to see some Fantasy Star challenges, Landstalker, um, what other RPGs are on here. You know, just to urge you to grind through a little bit more because a lot of these are very simple like Sonic the Hedgehog, um, Mirror Mode, I did that in the first video, you all seen that. Space Harrier 2, again it's one of those games once you kind of um, learn the level you'll be fine. And this is where I'm up at the moment, I've got Streets of Rage, this is a difficult one because uh, that boomerang boss is a pain. Um, Streets of Rage 2 is pretty simple, if you watch the Sega America stream of them doing this, it can be quite frustrating because you accidentally pick up items so we're going to do this one because this is a fun one we're not allowed to pick up any items in this level um, there's three parts to this stage as you streets of rage veterans will know and all we got to do is make our way through without picking up any items and it's the pipes that you'll have problems with a lot of enemies with pipes will drop them and you'll pick them up without even realizing and you'll be like no i picked up the pipe so you don't want to pick up any pipes um very straightforward we're gonna try and complete this challenge because this is a challenge i actually need and i do want to showcase some of these challenges to you guys because the game does come out tomorrow you're all going to be grinding away and don't think this is the end of the journey with these videos we're going to keep on going a lot of you guys are going to be wanting to play online, so if you want to play online, my PSN, it only this is PS4 users only, sorry Xbox guys, but um, add me on PSN, LH Online, so that's capital L, capital H, capital O, and then line in lowercase, and we can, I'm hoping to play online with some of you guys to kind of have a good, good playthrough of Streets of Rage, defeat Mr. X, play a bit of Golden Axe, bit of Toe Jam and Earl because Toe Jam and Earl I think that's going to be such a funny game to play with someone because of the, all the little just just the atmosphere of that game I can't believe I never knew about it when I was a kid um, there's a pipe we want to watch out for it so we want to go for some, some jump kicks here but yeah I can't wait it's not going to be the end of the uh, Sega Mega Drive Classics I do want to play through Fantasy Star I don't know if I should do like a highlights video or like an actual let's play. I'll let you guys decide. I know that a lot of you wanted to see some Fantasy Star Online footage. So that is on the cards. And uh, yeah, everyone that's joined the channel because of Sega Mega Drive Classics and um, Sega retweeting and providing me with this early copy, thank you. Um, thank you for sticking around, checking out my content and seeing me fail. There's the pipe gone. That's good. 
yeah, th thanks, just thank you. Um, it means a lot to me. I really enjoy playing these classics for you guys. And I'm glad you guys have all tuned in. And respect my opinions as well, because I respect yours. And if you ever have any opinions, post them in the comments section below. Let's have a conversation. I reply to as many comments as I can in the comment section. Um, right, we've got to be careful of this guy. We do not want to pick up his pipe. We do not want to pick up the pipe. We also don't want to pick up that apple, so we've got to be careful. The key, really, is jump kicking. Um, if I was a, a betting man, I'd say you've probably got more chance of clearing this stage, jumping and kicking. So, there we go. Let's get out of here. Um... There's a, there is an extra life behind this truck, but we're not going to pick it up because that's picking up an item. We don't want to pick up any items. We're doing quite good for health. Um, we're doing all right for lives. I believe we are all right to lose a... Oh, we don't want to pick up that. We're all right to lose a life. Um, but again, it's items. And we should be seeing another pipe in a minute. And the pipe's going to be like, <laughs> you need to pick me up. Pick me up. Use me, use me and fail your challenge. And we're gonna be like, no, no pipe, not today. Uh, I'm gonna beat these Abrahams. Abraham without the goatee. That's what I'm calling it, even though they're called Surges. Or, um, yeah, let's just say Lieutenant, Lieutenant Surge from Pokemon. But here we go, we're against Jet. And we are gonna. Come on, Jet. Jet should be pretty straightforward to beat. Um, it's all about jump kicking or correct placements. It's very rare to be able to grapple with him, but when you do, you're definitely going to be busting out that damage. But I ain't the greatest Streets of Rage player, so a lot of you might have tips that you might want to post in the comment section below. And if you want to do that, then go for it. That's your space to voice your opinions. This is, and the video box above is my space. So, oh man. Is there anything there? Oh no, good. So we're just gonna try and jump, kick, and sponge our way. So it's gonna go for it again. Yeah, there we go. Come on, and again, Jet. Oh, we missed him. Oh, we're going all over the place now. There we go. Luckily, I think this might have been even more challenging if there was a time limit as well. Oh, he got us right with the big kick there. We only got one more hit on this guy and then we're done. We're done and dusted with this challenge. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. I don't think we're going to hit it. There we yes, we're going to hear it. <laughs> and there we go. Challenge complete. So let's see what else we have to grind through. Um, Streets Rager 3. Um, why won't they just stand still? This is Mona and Lisa. I believe they've got different names in the Japanese version, but in the version I was playing when I was getting the trophy for completing this. Man, I, uh, let's just have one attempt on this, because uh, I, I think you just need, it's all about posi positioning. So there they are. They're gonna do a lot of jumping. And we just wanna kind of, I think the strategy I came up with is this. Um, you wanna kind of jump underneath them as they jump. And then you'll be able to grab them. So, there we go. Oh, no, she grabbed us. I'm not doing this challenge justice at all, but uh, it can be quite difficult. I'm failing quite badly. You get two lives, and you have got that chicken um, just over there to be munching on for that extra life. Um, life points, not extra life, sorry. So, yeah, you don't really want to be jumping at these guys because they are going to absolutely kick you in the face like that but I'm pretty sure when they do their jumps wow that was almighty team up when they do their jumps you can actually you want to take them take them on there do you see how I kind of like went up and grabbed them I think that is the key to kind of beating them um, let's have a look and let's grab that chicken as you can see, um, I need more preparation for this. I think it's going to be one of those that once you kind of know the enemy, again, know the enemy's AI and mechanics and movements and attack patterns, you should be fine. Alright, 
There we go, got her. She landed on her feet. She landed on her feet. Alright. See how fast they are? Oh man, they are absolutely annihilating me. Mona and Lisa. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of uh, challenges you guys are going to be frustrated at. Because I'm frustrated at this one already. And I only wanted to kind of show off how it was. So, failed the challenge, that's fine. You guys might get it in your first attempt. Um, some of you might get it in your tenth attempt. Some of you might ne never ever be able to complete it. Um, Revenge of Shinobi, pretty straightforward one. Um, what I find with this one is probably the best method to do it is get to the last enemy on the map. Get him to attack you to one bar. Use your kind of lightning, um, inner energy shinobi type skill, and uh, walk to the end of the level, and you'll be fine. Vector Man, collect 123 photons on level two, and Virtual Fighter. And I've never played Virtual Fighter. This is my first Virtual Fighter experience trying to do this challenge. And uh, as you can see, what what will happen is we'll start off with some low low health and um, all we got to do is <laughs> KO <laughs> yeah okay 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 all we got to do is win this set of rounds so and she's pretty hard I mean it's, oh man she's got some right attacks but playing something like this I think probably your best bet is I know that Virtual Fighter you can um, kick people off the stage so we want to do that so this is we might actually pass the challenge here there's a there's a small chance because we're going into the final round the final set set three and uh, but I don't know if I can do any grappling I know that I, I'm just doing kicks at the moment and punches. So there's the punch. I believe that's... Oh man, she's absolutely whooping us. Come on, let's take her to the end of the stage. Oh, we're nearly... Oh, I think we might do this, you know. Don't underestimate me. Okay, I think I might not be able to now. She just added insult to injury. But there you can see... Um, yeah, there, there is a quite vast majority of challenges. I hope in the future, if we get DLC, that they add more challenges because... Challenges, I think, is going to be one of those things to keep people hooked. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to, like I say, play through some Fantasy Star and uh, experience that because I wasn't into RPGs when I was a kid. I am now. I love RPGs, um, but there are some real challenges. And I, th how many have I got left to do then? Have I got one, two, three, four, five, six, six more challenges to do? So, if I can do it, you can do it too. So there we go guys, challenges in a nutshell. Um, if you made it to the end, congratulations, you made it to the end. Um, again, the game comes out tomorrow. You can get it on your PSN store, Xbox Live store, or you can buy it at your local shop or um, supermarket or mall slash anywhere. And you get that sweet, sweet double-sided poster. So until next time, guys, it has been fun. But the videos are going to keep on coming. I might do some trophy guides because, again, I only need one more, uh, two more trophies. So, yeah. If you want to see anything in particular, let me know in the comment section, guys. I will always listen to you. You are my audience, and I will do my best to please you. And on that note, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.